Hey guys, thanks for joining us here on Airborne RC. Today what we're going to be doing is I'm going to show you how to set up telemetry on the Swiwin 60 Bravo Turbine with the Spectrum IX transmitter. Stay tuned guys. All right guys, welcome back. So what we got here is we have the Swiwin turbine set up right here. Uh, my Spectrum AR9030 Tango with two Spectrum uh, receivers and my new iX12. As I mentioned in a previous video, I had an upgrade. I had the DX8E and my understanding, the only difference between that and the 8 was it did not have voice. Uh, unfortunately, through uh, the months, uh, or actually year, they upgraded the firmware on the 8 and the 9 and added in the turbine feature, which they did not do on the E-Series. So just uh, keep that in mind if you think you're going to be growing in the hobby. So I went ahead and upgraded to the iX12 right here. And what we're going to cover is how to set up the telemetry. All right. So the first thing, uh, this right here is what uh, is the ESC, what you would consider, and it has the telemetry built in to it for Spectrum. So what all you need to do is you don't need any sensors, no nothing. The sensors are already built into the turbine and it really transmits everything in here. So you just need it to talk to your receiver. So you have to buy this little adapter right here. It plugs into the telemetry port on the ESC. It's a servo style on one end. And then it goes into Xbus style spectrum on the other. Then you just buy a Xbus cable, a four a pin cable, and you plug it into the Xbus. That's it. You don't have to do anything else. Boom, got telemetry. Now all you got to do is set up your transmitter. You don't have to do anything to this. All you have to do is plug this in. That's it. The rest is going to be on your transmitter. So this right here is the iX12. If you have the 8 or the 9, the DX8 or the DX9, you're going to be selecting um, JetCat. But for over here, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be selecting Turbine. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to Model Setup. We're going to go to Telemetry. Now you can hit Auto Config, but I don't need each individual bracket for it. That just clouds up my dashboard. So I'm going to go down here. I'm going to select turbine. Okay, low RPM, voice, turbine battery, minimum fuel I do not need. Because I won't have an electronic fuel level right there. Okay. Now my personal preference, I don't want 30,000. I want this to be 25 because I don't need it beeping on me. You guys will see in the other video why it's on the transition through the stages of the turbine. So I got that. I'm going to hit save. That's it, guys. Turbine battery, zero volts. There you go. I'm going to hit cancel. I do not have a battery hooked up to my turbine. So I'm going to hit back. Hit back. There's my dashboard. I have my monitor like normal. I have my flight log like normal. I have my min and max. Notice now I have volts, RPM, and temperature. And then turbine status. There is my EGT is my ambient temperature, 60 degrees. Throttle is at 0%. If I raise my throttle, nothing happens because it's not registering on the ESC. Pump voltage, pack voltage, and RPM. Obviously, it's going to be all zero because I do not have the battery hooked up for it to power the turbine, only the ESC. Gives me my status, Suiwin ESC state stop. My condition is off at the moment. Gives me my fuel and the float. Well, guys, that's it. That's how easy it is to get your telemetry on the Suiwin turbine. Hope you guys enjoyed it.